so now you have started using your own HDX1000. You like the functions and the features of which the machine can offer. However, there is one concern in your mind. The fire navigation interface is so 80s. It makes you feel like using Norton Commander on Microsoft DOS. If you are old enough and still remember how it looks. Yes, the movie title can be listed on the screen clearly. But for an entertainment box like this, isn't it better to allow users to pick a movie by its visually self-explainable picture cover? The good news is, there are movie jukebox software plugins to enable this graphical navigation. YAMJ is a good example. Today, I'm going to use it to display how the jukebox works and what you can expect to encounter in the setup process. In the, this page, you can see a checklist about all the things you need to do to install YAMJ. Okay, let us start the detailed process. First, you need to download and install the YAMJ and the related tools. On the screen, you can see a link. This is a link pointed to Ampro Direct's product support page. At this page, you will see all the programs you need to download. They are Java, YAMJ, YAMJ GUI tool, and the media info. Please follow the instructions on that page to create all the appropriate folders and install the programs. After that, your YAMJ folder should look like this on the screen. Step 2. You need to share your movie folder. First, bring up your Windows Explorer. Right-click on the folder you want to share. Select the Sharing and Security, and then left-click on the Sharing tab on the top of the window. From here, please click on both options in the Network Sharing and Security section in the middle of the window. Give a share name to this folder. In my case, I call it Video Shares. And then, please bring up your Windows Explorer again. Click on the Tools and then Map Network Drive. You should be able to see a pop-up window as it is showing on the screen. First, pick up a drive label. In my case, it is you. Browse to the folder you just shared in the previous process. For me, it's under Work Group, and then Howard Laptop, and then Video Shares. Then you hit OK and finish the whole process. Now you have set the Map Network Drive. Step 3. You need to create a Network Share folder on your HDX1000. You first go back to your HDX1000, click on Setup, and then Network Share. From here, you can browse to the share folder you just created. And then you can give it a share name. In my case, I call it Test, and hit the Add button. Next, you need to start to use the YAMJ GUI tool. This tool can help you set the right um, path information to help the HDX1000 to find the movies on your computer. Okay, you first go to your YAMJ folder and click on the YAMJ GUI config program and run it. From here, you first hit on the Select DIR button on the top of the screen. From here, you can select the movie folder in your computer. 
Next, uh, go to the middle section where is my video files are on. Uh, tell the program where HDX1000 can find the movie collector folder. There are four options. In my case, it is on a network pass on the NMT. So I click on it. You will be asked about the IP address of your HDX1000. After that, find the share name you just set in the previous step. Next, you need to click on the select DIR button on the button of the window. This is where you can tell the program to save the created movie jukebox index page. For my setup, I want it to be on my U drive. Next, click on the add button and hit the save. You will be asked about where you want to save the temporary batch file. This batch file will run the process to create the index page. In my case, I want it to be saved in my YAMJ folder. OK, now you go back to your YAMJ folder on your computer. And then you need to run the batch file called my underscore. YAMJ. After you run this batch file, you will see the process begin to create the index page. The runtime is depending on how many movies you have in the folder. I only have one movie, Goldfinger, in the folder. So the process takes only 20 seconds to finish. Click any key when the process finished. Okay. Now you run you 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 want to go run the index that htm um, document from your hdx1000. First, you go to hdx1000 and browse to the place you save the movie jukebox index file. In my case, it is under media source and test. Because the index file is an HTM document, you need to click the force icon from the right in the media type selection window. See the display on the screen. At this point, you should be able to find a document called index.htm. Click on it. The movie jukebox function will be activated. At here, you can see how the movie jukebox looks like. There are ways to improve the look, but I won't go over that in this video clip. At here, you can click on the movie cover. In my case, it's the Goldfinger. And you can see the movie start playing. Thank you for watching this video. You, if you have more questions, please go to www.emperordirect.com for more information about the HDX1000. Thank you.